Have you ever been in like a combat situation where you're firing at each other? I don't want to speak on it. You know, that's some people, some people, when we got out, when I come back from Vietnam, I went to Jersey City. I had to go there and debrief. You debrief there. That's where I went. When I come back from Vietnam, we stopped off in Jersey City and I had to stay there, quarantine to see if everything is all right. I uh, forgot if it was it a month, 40 days, how many days it was on the quarantine. Then when you get out, you come back home. Let me ask you this. How did you avoid, how did you avoid, you know what PTSD is? PTSD, yeah. How did you avoid having PTSD? You, you don't avoid it. So you have PTSD? You have everything. You won't, you ain't nowhere in the world. You're going to come back home, and I ain't going to thought about them years that you was over there in them jungles. Okay, so... Yeah, but you learn that. They they program you, to, but they don't deprogram you not to. You have to deprogram yourself. So, I just want to commend you and, and just tell you how mentally strong you are, because you don't seem to be... You don't seem to have to use drugs to cope with it. You can simply just smile and say, I don't want to talk about it. And that's a real strong mind, you know? So as far as how did they treat the black people that fought in the war? Because we in 1966 at this time. So this, this is right in the middle of civil, the civil rights movement. So a better question for me is, what would make you want to go fight for this country? What would make you want to go be in the army at that point in time of, of based on everything that's going on in civil rights? A young wild man. Okay. A young wild man that don't want to just keep being around this. Okay. So, oh man, it ain't bothering me. I'm going to learn what I want to learn. And right. I went and learned what I wanted to learn and did what I had to do. And come on back and come out here and do what I have to do. I got a, I got a survivor mind. So by me having a survivor mind, I got to do what I got to do wherever I'm at. I got to do that. You know what I want? I'm glad that I had a mind that I have because I might not could handle a whole lot of that other. You know, the family and all of that. I got a mind to get me a dollar bill however I got to get me a dollar bill. You know, if you bother me, I, my, my, my thing is, if you bother me, it's trying to stop me from getting this money. I mean, man, you got a problem. But I get up every day to try to get the money. That's my goal every day. Been my goal every day. Just stop being my goal. And it ain't stopped being my goal. I just slowed down the last three years. My goal is always to get up and get me some money, how I got to get it. Watch the jack and watch the police and try to play the big and bros and the dudes, you know, mine, and get the money. Okay. So let's talk about what did you make the most money doing? Selling drugs. Okay. Selling drugs. Gave us the economic, gave us money to do what we want to do with it. We can hold more business than everything you sell. What? You own more business, get people's business and everything. I broke dealers. Okay. I broke dealers. I'm a professional gambler. And I've always kept me a gambling place and wherever people go gamble at, I go to their gambling spot. And I break a bunch of people that sell. And when I break a bunch of people that sell, and then one time there wasn't nobody selling. And the people that needed some. So I just picked up the thing and went to selling myself and gambling. Okay, so there's an idea that the government placed it here for us to sell because we don't have ships to the get government, it. The government didn't really post nothing here for us to sell. A lot of people said that, but a lot of people in different countries come to America, and when they come to America, they bring that thing with them. One of the biggest themes in hip-hop right now is snitching, telling, right? And... I want to make it very clear to you and the camera that this isn't necessarily my lane because I'm not in the streets, never been in the streets. I just think it's important to highlight because there's a whole group of youth that are fascinated with that topic. I mean, every week another rapper is getting exposed for having paperwork where he told on somebody or then now it's even to the point where they breaking down jail fights. And if one of the rappers talk about what happened to the police, they calling them a snitch. So with doing my research on a bunch of the, the top dealers, even, even take out the Fort Worth ones, we can go to Frank Lucas, right? People like that. 
one thing I noticed by doing my research is that 90% of them, by the law of the streets, told. Why do you think that no snitching is embedded in the youth so hard? Like, no snitching, no telling. Like, why is that, why is that dri drilled so hard into them? When you get in the streets, at least. A snitch. Me, I watch them all snitch. I know all the snitches. I know all the ones that's going to become snitches. Police snitch on one another. Every man have a tendency tell on another man, which is against the law to do that, but that's what they do. Me, I don't, I don't, I got a reputation in Fort Worth, Texas. All of them should pop. Don't like snitches around them. But all the brothers, they're just weak and they're scared of that white boy. And they're going to tell it. Ah, they, they tell one another. And then they tell it on one another. I don't understand it because it's just Judas snitched on Jesus. He you did. Know, that's it, probably the earliest that's probably the earliest snitch our, everybody, reported. Everybody has been snitching. All of them. You know, all of them. I'm a man. I'm a man. You're a man. You ain't gonna tell on no other man. That's really why I say we searching what is a man. When you get caught in a war, you know you're going to get tortured. What do you do? You kill yourself. Don't tell. You don't tell. Nothing I can say about a snitch. Or nothing I can speak on because, right. you know, it's, it's a hard job. That's why if you can't wear the suit, don't get on it. My mama and my wife told me to tell on a fella. They all told me to tell on a fella. But me, I knew them people, and I know the code. I'm not going to tell nothing on no man. I ain't. Right. I ride by myself, you know, but and then if you don't want nothing told on, you don't let nobody know nothing. All these young boys running around there talking about they gangsters. They ain't no gangsters. White boys, the Italians wasn't gangsters. They was, they was a family. That's what they come from these courts are doing, and the white man called them gangsters. These little boys right there calling themselves gangsters, they ain't been more gangsters than a man in the moon. Just something they done picked up. Just a game that they trying to play. And when they get arrested, what do they do? All of them cry. All of them cry. And then what's so bad about it, all of them know one another. They know he done told it. They know he done told it. They know he done told it. So, you know, man don't have no business even speaking on another man. Right. You don't have no business doing that. Yeah, I can't speak on you. I can't speak on no other man. You don't speak on nobody but yourself. You speak on what you know about yourself and they ask you about anybody else that is. The fed is so cold. Me and you taking care of business. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm doing. If you don't tell the fed what I'm doing, they ain't gonna let you out of jail. They'll just let you, you just sit there until you tell what I done done. How many men are strong enough to just sit there and don't tell nothing on that man? A long time ago, if you snitch, you get a surprise on you. Man, that, that 